Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are back in the Highlands at Brentwood here in Mesa, Arizona. And we're looking at this gorgeous new listing. Uh, the people that own this have been living here, I think for 12 years. We're gonna check with them in a, in a minute. Um, they've actually agreed to be interviewed for our channel, so I'm so excited. And their son is actually over visiting uh, them as well. But this is a 1993 Palm Harbor Phoenician, and it's a 24 by 44, two bedroom, two bath, great floor plan. Love the kitchen in there. I can't wait for you to see that. But um, a lot of the interior is original, and they are the kind of people that have just taken such good care. I mean, even the countertops look like they're brand new <laughs> still. It's kind of unbelievable. But we had a little break in our rain, so we decided to get over here and uh, get the video and the photos and get this up on our YouTube channel as soon as possible. But the sky is just beautiful. Um, we've had rain for like three days now, but look at all those clouds. One nice thing about this particular floor plan and the way this is set on the lot is you have this huge front patio area. It is covered and it has the indoor outdoor carpet. Uh, they are going to be buying real estate. So they're gonna be taking their furniture with them and the uh, stove and I think the dishwasher are what are gonna stay appliance wise. But so many little custom touches on this. Oh, and one thing I wanted to point out too is the roof was a shingle roof, but it looks like it's had um, a new roof put on top. I'm gonna ask him about that. You can see it's got that in this. I don't know if that's a coating or if that's some kind of roof cover, but looks really good, like in good shape from the street. But cute little cacti garden in the front with the white rocks. Good afternoon. To my <laughs> yes, this is Todd. Hello. And this is Sharon. And thank you. And this is Don. Don is a little bit of a scaredy cat at being on the video, yes. but he's going to do just fine. Because <laughs> he has to point out all the cool things he's done to this property. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, um, the roof. What was put on top of the shingles? It looks like... It's uh, styrofoam and then a rubber roof. Wow, that's top. what I was thinking. That yeah. is really a nice roof for yeah. sure. So, um, Sharon, you guys have been in this community for how many years now? 13 years. Wow, yeah. And what do you like most about the Highlands? Well, everything, really. Yeah. Yes. The people are the main thing. Yeah. We've got some really good friends here. Yeah. And over the years, it's changed. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we get new ones in, others leave us. Yeah. So, so you guys are actually going to be buying real estate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when in your experience, because I haven't looked recently, but what are the like average price ranges of homes where you own the land right now? Would you say if you had to guess? Oh, there. Anywhere from two to three hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, at least. So this is a really nice option for people that are kind of getting their feet wet in Arizona, mm -hmm. maybe moving here for the first time, get into a gated, mm -hmm. you know, retirement community. And uh, the rents do go up every year, which makes sense for people that have lived here for a while. They're kind of familiar with the area right. to buy real estate. But this is a great place for somebody to come in and mm -hmm. just start living. And the best thing is the golf course. Yes. Yes. And the golf is included. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it costs you a quarter a game. <laughs> oh, does it? <laughs> but you get it back in prize money. <laughs> oh, that's right. So it's even in the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so what are some of the things that are close proximity-wise here that uh, you frequent? Like, I know it's close okay. to grocery. I've and... got Albertsons. I've got fries. I've got everything right here. Mm -hmm. right. Home Depot, block away. Oh, that's right. That's an important My feature. Yep. <laughs> you know, everything's right here. That's great. Yeah. And now, originally, did you guys buy out here to be closer to your son? Is that no, why? Or... Oh, no. I it needed to be closer to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what city in Wisconsin are you guys from? Oxford. Okay. Near the Wisconsin Dells, if anybody's familiar with that. 
Does that make you Packers fans? Oh, yes. In fact, we're going to watch Look the Look at our right? golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the week for Packers fans. I just filmed one with Packers fans. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah. there's a lot of us. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, I'm going to show them. The homie can help me if you want. Um, one thing that is a nice upgrade that you've done is this laminate floor covering. Um, it's a great color. Uh, the home is light and bright. Huge living room area. It's got the cathedral ceilings, tape and texture walls, and uh, you you did those floors. If I'm, yes. Yep. And you did great. I asked him if he was for hire, and he said no. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, Sharon, show me this kitchen because this is one of your favorite features of this, this house. Is what sold me on the house. I don't have this many cupboards at home yeah. in my big home. Yeah. So. It's and I mean everything and is bright. just yeah, it's light and bright and you have just taken such good care of this property. I mean, these are the original cabinets, countertops mm -hmm. and they look brand new. Mhm. Mm you mm -hmm. have done such a nice job. Now, did you add the backsplash? Yes, yes, I did that. Yes. Yeah, that is really a nice feature. A lot of real custom touches in this property as well. Plus, you've got the big windows in the front. It is east facing, so that allows you to get the morning sun, much which must be nice in the mornings mm -hmm. to have coffee out there. Mm -hmm. yes, a lot is. of nice people on this street. Whenever we have company, that's where they head in the morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you even have a little private retreat deck in the back, which we'll look yeah. at here in just a minute. Uh, but it does have the skylight, too, so you get some nice natural light. And the appliances that are going to stay is the KitchenAid dishwasher and the 30-inch range. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so you'll be taking your microwave and your refrigerator yes. and your washer and dryer. Yes. Okay, all right, sounds good. And then um, another nice thing is a separate laundry room. So mm -hmm. you've got the separate laundry room. This is where the washer and dryer will go. And there's even more storage in here. Mm -hmm. So you've got all those cabinets. <laughs> And uh, everything is painted nicely. So it looks like it's got the wallboard you, in you, the... You cheese head up in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> cheese head from Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. I can't miss the cheese head for sure. And uh, some nice hooks. Just little things that people don't think about that mm -hmm. really make a difference and make mm -hmm. it really convenient. Then you have the walkthrough bath. And this is done in a blue. And then the tub shower combination here. Everything is so clean. Smells good. And there's another skylight here with the vent van, which is great. And then, uh, yeah, let's, let's introduce them to your little friend in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, come meet Alexa. <laughs> Their son bought them this last Christmas. I... I hid it because I didn't know if we wanted it sitting out. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> but yeah, tell her to turn the lights off. Okay, Alexa, turn off bedroom lights. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. She didn't say you're welcome she, this she time. <laughs> But, um, so this is a queen size bed, correct? Yes. Okay, so easily accommodates a queen. I think even a king would fit yeah, so. in this uh, bedroom for sure. And uh, that's a great place. Now, are you going to leave the actual mount for the TV? Uh, I almost have to take it with me. Do you? Okay. It's just a little bracket that goes in the wall. Okay, all right. And um, nice big... Well, no, I, could take, I could take the TV off and we get another mount, whatever. <laughs> Well, yeah. just as a little repair job if yeah. you take it, but yeah. it's nice to leave it. Then they can just yeah. stick their TV right up. They're not super expensive. Yeah. No. But um, bathroom is nice and large. It's got the double sinks, a wide vanity here with the base drawers, walk-in shower. Oh, Sharon, open up this closet. This is like a huge... Linen closet and look at the galley rail and wainscoting. It's just so nicely done. But look at that huge linen closet. It's so nice to have that right in your bathroom. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes people watch the videos and then they decide to keep their homes. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, 
Don, would you mind taking us outside? You can sure. kind of show us the outside a little mm -hmm. bit. I love what you've done out there. He has invented something that I think anyone with this configuration of a carport should have. Mm -hmm. It is such a nice feature. So this is a combination carport and additional patio area. Um, you can see they've got the indoor outdoor carpet here. So if you, you can see you can fit two cars in there, but if you needed to fit more, there's certainly room for it and still plenty of patio room, patio area. So yeah, let's show them that. That is a really yeah. unique. Just a little gate that swings. I have it swinging all the way though. Yeah, can you demonstrate it for us? Yeah, the truck's oh, in the way. With the vehicle. oh, it goes out the other yeah, way. Oh, okay, right. all right, okay. And then yeah. pin goes in the ground. Yeah, that is just so nice. So if you wanna open it up, but it's uh has great curb appeal. Okay, just very easily. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Right there. And then you've got another little swinging door here and then you secure it with the little latch. That is just a great idea. And then there's a place for an additional fridge. Just perfect if you have guests. And the access to the bathroom is just right through that door too. So it's easy access to use the restroom. They don't have to go through the entire house. And uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then a nice big workshop. It's got a workbench. And of course you'll be taking all your tools, right? Oh, yeah. I figured. <laughs> you know, for his 70th birthday, our kids were all here. They took this window out and made a bar here put a bar menu. <laughs> oh, did they? We covered the sink, walk up, we covered the sink up, you made the bar right there, and just walk up, we served drinks right through that window. Did you? Oh. It was a fun night. Oh. <laughs> and how long have you guys been married? 35. <laughs> 55, 53, somewhere like that, yeah. You did it backwards. <laughs> Well, you're being silly. So I, I asked him before what the secret to that was. Do you remember what your answer was? Just do what I'm told. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and this has the uh, central air, but this is just so lovely just to have a little private retreat area back here to read. And I could envision having a little water fountain at back here, very tranquil area. And this would be, this is on the facing west, so you get the sunsets from here. I always wanted to put a door where this window is, and I would mean, come right out of our bedroom into the deck. That yeah, be nice. and somebody could do that. Sure. Absolutely. And then what are these little rope things? What do you use those Place for? Clothesline. Oh, yeah, a little place to hang clothes. That's nice. And I think when I was here, it was at night, and you have some uh, rope lighting as yeah, well. Right yeah. yeah. Outside, out the front of the house has it. Yeah. yeah. And he added these latches, which are so much of a better idea. And then a little handle here. And we're always trying to like pry them open, but just little stuff like that all throughout the whole property. And uh, you've got the 110 volts here. Yep. So definitely has the exterior cover on it. Just very well laid out. Just a gorgeous property. Oh, there's Matt. He's putting oh, up okay. the sign. Oh. <laughs> Finally get to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, hi Matt, you're on video. <laughs> I bet you love that, huh? Yep. Hello, Matt. It's doing all right. It's good to meet you. <laughs> so um yeah, this is just so nice. And big wide streets here. But I mean you guys just take such good care of anything. And actually you guys have just been winter visitors, right? So yeah. really mm -hmm. it's only gotten maybe what, okay. five yeah. five or six months of use since yeah. you've owned it. Mm -hmm. And so that, along with your obvious care of the property, is really, really good. It's just very evident and a super nice place. Okay, so um, if you can't think of anything else, um, we'll finish up and we'll get this up on our YouTube channel. So if you are interested in this property, the web reference number on this is BH366ME. You can call or text 480-299-7236. Feel free to email me at azactiveresorts at gmail.com. Oh, there he is. Nice meeting you too, Todd. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do so. Click that subscribe button. 
And then you can turn on notifications by clicking the little bell. And if you have your notifications turned on, YouTube will notify you by email. Just as soon as one of our new videos is posted to our site, we do post to YouTube first. So if you have your notifications turned on, then you will get first shot at all of these beautiful new listings. Oh, isn't that sweet? Arizona, such a great place to love. Thanks for tuning in. I'll hope to hear from you soon.